In fact, we have two treaties, or at least two legal tools. You have the so-called fiscal compact, uh, providing some more discipline uh, at the domestic level as regard the conduct of budgetary and economic policies, but mainly budgetary policies on the one hand. And on the other hand, we have the so-called European Stability Mechanism, which could have been called European Solidarity Mechanism, uh, which would allow the EU to grant solidarity on a permanent basis and not on an ad hoc basis as it was uh, done in the last period. And then there is a combination between the two. Uh, a positive vote will allow the country to apply uh, the disciplines um, uh, scheduled and planned within the fiscal compact. But it will more importantly allow them to benefit from the permanent solidarity mechanism, which is quite important in troubled times. It's, let's say, a kind of insurance compact.